Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you can see, we finally got ourselves the rapier in our last video. We're currently sitting on 54,000 points, but with this rapier acquisition, we should be able to shoot forward to close to 60,000 points even. And this video should be very, very good because I'll be going for a lot of points. But I think the first thing that I'll do is I'll start off relaxed and just go and do some mithril dragons. Why? Well, I can get a DFS, which is 500 points to smith it and wear it, and I can also get a dragon full hound, which is 250 points, and on top of that, I'll also be working on my prayer experience, which I eventually want to get up to 25 million. So, I'm very happy with where we are right now. Let's shoot up in the ranks as well. I'm excited. We are on 865 mil total XP. Let's see where today gets us. New assignment, Greater Demons, 148, and we got a Godsword Shard of a Minion. Now, I do not plan on killing a lot of minions, but I wanted to kill all of them this time, just so I can pray at the altar, and well, there's the first drop. Ooh, there we go, uh, kill count 111, and we get another Zami Spear. Now, that's not what we need, but we'll take it. And we also need to get a staff, and both staffs, actually, uh, is what we are missing in order to fully complete this boss. Oh, there we go, second spear, KC137, we'll take it, we'll take it, not too bad at all, nice. Oh my god, back to bang Zami Spears, are you kidding me? 138, another Zami Spear, man. Okay, I'll, yeah, great, how much is this ALK for anyway? 60k, well, I guess we are just uh, going to increase our bank value. Oh, and there we go, right at the end of the task, two left to go. And we got ourselves another Zami Spear. Hello, Zamorak Spear, number six. Lovely. Ooh, there it is. Kill count 178. And we get a Steam Battle Staff, which should be a task. <laughs> it's not a task! So now the only thing we're missing is a Staff of the Dead. Once we get that, we're completely done with Zamorak. So I guess that's what we're going for. All right, well, got Sword Shard 3. Oh no, another spear. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're right at the end of the task and we get spear number seven. Pogchem Chevapchichi, it's gonna be- Oh, <laughs> never mind, boys. <laughs> we just got the stuff of the dead. We're chilling. Okay, the- the boss is now completed. Staff of the dead is obtained. Zamorak is completed. Two God Wars bosses are done, and we can go to sleep. Dude, this is the best day ever, man. Perfect. Nice. Two tasks of gargoyles later and we finally got ourselves the brittle key, which means we can now attempt to do some grotesque guardians. And there is quite some points uh, located behind them, so I'm looking forward to killing this boss. Alright, here it is, the very first grotesque guardian kill, and it took me quite a long time, two minute kill. Maybe I'll be able to speed it up throughout the times, but this might take... A very long time to complete this boss. Nothing worth mentioning coming out of the grotesque guardians just yet, but I do have eight shoot bones that I've accumulated over the, you know, time of just AFKing Mithril Dragon. So let's see if we can get a dragon full helm. Now, when it comes to the chance of obtaining a dragon full helm, it should be about one in 80 or one in 90, somewhere between those two numbers, but. It's an okay spot to just AFK at, so I don't mind even going dry here. It would be very nice, though, to get a DFS, uh, which is another thing that I can get from Mithril Dragons. Anyway, so I'm kind of knocking out, like, three tasks at once just AFKing here. It is time for nine more shoot bones. Is this going to be it? Is this where we finally get our dragon full helm? Right, let's figure it out. Unfortunately, no dragon full helm this time around. We are up to 24 KC, so approximately, let's say, one fourth of the way there. Seven more shoot bones. Maybe this time we get a little luckier. And nope, once again, not lucky. It is very early in the morning, so I decided to AFK more Mithril Dragons and got 12 shoot bones. We are currently on Mithril Dragon KC over 2000. So a DFS, for example, should be 1 in 3333. But this is the approximate loot so far. Absolutely phenomenal. 43 shoot bones in total. So that's basically like halfway to the drop rate for a Dragon Full Helm. Let's see if we can get maybe lucky here. It would save me so much time to not need to kill more Mithril Dragons. And the last one, kill count 43. Still no signs of a Dragon Full Helm. That's a little bit unfortunate, but I guess we go straight back into AFKing. Alright, many hours of Mithril Dragons later. We got 13 shoot bones again. I'm currently on KC. 
2500 but also I've done a bunch of them when the update happened so rune light wasn't working so I would assume I'm close to 3000 mithril dragons in total right now KC44 can I please get the helm so I can move on to something else that would be lovely <gasps> no way okay oh my god I actually got it I was just complaining, I actually got it, oh my god, no way, I got it dude, let's go, 250 points only for this beautiful helm, but look how good it looks, oh my, how much is this even worth in like the main game, oh shit, it's 57 mil, I thought this was not as expensive actually. Uh, but yeah, that is that is amazing. I genuinely thought I would get the DFS first, but because I got this first, that actually means it is time for us to probably camp some skeletal wyverns and finish off our DFS. Because if we get the DFS, that is 500 extra points because I can get points for smithing it and I guess points for wearing it. So that would be perfect. <gasps> oh, I genuinely thought I got another one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fake reaction, but dude... We got it. Oh my god, it was worth it. The entire day of Mithril Dragons and a little bit more, it was all worth it. Yo, look at this! Let's go! I just heard my notification. It is done. Multi day grind for a draconic visage is completed. I've killed over 4,000 Mithril Dragons to get my dragon full helm, and I've also killed well over 3,000 Skeletal Wyverns. To obtain the VC, this is perfect. Now this is basically gifted 500 points. All we gotta do is smith this together and then equip it and we're gonna be 500 points richer. And now I need to find a new activity. I was relaxing, just AFKing here entire day while I was doing clue scrolls on my clue scroll alt account. The videos on that are coming soon. Um, but damn, that's sick! Another content on the Trailblazer absolutely completed. By the way, very good thing that we have this because I'll be using this for my 20 Infernos. When I'll be going for that, this shield is gonna be awesome. Yep, that's me being DDoS during a Deadman Mode tournament where I basically spent over 100 hours to have one of the best accounts in the tournament only to, well, be gone in just a few seconds. And what I could have done to prevent that? Well, I could be using ExpressVPN. And I'm very, very happy to announce that ExpressVPN is in fact the sponsor of today's video. ExpressVPN gives you an option to protect yourself from DDoS attacks by simply switching your true IP address with one of their own so you can basically be anonymous and stay safe while gaming. My favorite part about using a VPN is the fact that it unlocks a ton of content that I otherwise wouldn't be able to access. For example, Netflix. We all love to watch our shows but well sometimes the shows will not be available in your country. Now if you use ExpressVPN you can simply change your location in a matter of a couple of seconds and watch shows that otherwise would not be available to you. You would not believe how many new shows and movies you can watch by simply switching your country. Find out how you can get 3 months free by clicking the link in the description below, that is expressvpn.com slash Mika. Thank you once again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the video. And well, for the people wondering, the strength experience up to 178 million, the prayer experience up to 19 million basically. We got ourselves the hammer, we got the draconic visage and we got an anti-dragon shield and I assume you just click this on that and we are creating the visage. Hopefully that's a task and I'm not doing something wrong because that'd be awkward. There it is, 250 to smith it and then... 250 to wield it. Look at that. That is wonderful. The best shield in the game. I'm gonna go charge it really quickly on, I guess, some brutal green dragons or something. And then we're off to something new. Something unexplored. I have no idea what I'll do next, actually. I decided to quickly come here to the brutal dragons so they can uh, charge my shield. So now this is fully charged. And this is going to be, for the end of the league, the best shield that I'm ever going to have. So that is perfect. And now there's actually not that many things that I can still do on the account. I mean, I think the most important one is to return to Godwars and finish all the drops there. But outside of that, if we look at the unlocked tasks, there is not that much more left. Look, let me show you. 
There's the Karamja Agility Course one, and uh, there's the Grotesque Guardians that I'm also gonna do. Some Abyssal Sires, uh, Fight Caves and Inferno, uh, Demonic Gorillas, and, and, and that's it. That, that's basically all there is to it. I guess one more would be the Full Barrows and more Theater or whatever. And the Nightmare, obviously. I have to do more Nightmare, but outside of that, uh, we, we've done so much this league already. That's really crazy. So I guess uh, I'll first on start tackling this master tasks. So we're most likely gonna start with equip every god sword and equip a full armadillo set. Now that we have a good shield as well, here is a few clue scrolls I've accumulated over the time of just doing mithril dragons or something else. I'm not quite sure, but I just put this casket in my bank. However, I am planning on doing more god wars right now. And if I were to get, let's say, a good boots from the hard clue scroll, when I do Kriara, it may come in handy. So we might as well open this right now. And what I want the most from this is actually a master scroll book because that is just really good if you're an eternal jeweler. So let's just go ahead and start opening. We got a first one and we get two pith helmets. That has to be rare, right? Two of the same uniques. That's that's crazy. Uh, bucket helm, nice. More uniques there, not bad. Another unique there. And now for the elites, let's see if we can get something cool out of this. We got briefcase, Zidia start, three uniques there. We get a giant boot, which I think is the second one. And we also get a steel dragon mask, some bracelets, nothing nice of those. Alright, I decided it is time to finish off a bandos. Now, if you know, uh, we are at over 500 KC right now. I think we might be on exactly 500 actually. Let's check right here in just a hot second. Uh, but now I finally have rapier, so doing this will be much better. I could have taken full Gothen with me, but decided not to. The starting KC is 501, and the only thing we need here is a um, is a hilt. I need to get hilt here, and then I'm completed with Bandos, Zami, and Sara. I leave the Armadil for the end because it's gonna be the most annoying one to complete, I'd say. So yeah, with that being said, let's just grind out the Bandos hilt. Well, there's another Bandos test. It's not the drop we're after. I believe that's my seventh or eighth tacit. We are definitely gonna check the log at the end of this. Um, but hey, uh, 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 let's just call it a best item out of the ones that I can get that are not actually the hilt, I guess. So we'll take it. Well, that for sure is the first. We just got a curved bone off of a Bandos, which is 1 in 5k, I think. Definitely not a boosted rate there. And uh, there's that. Well, that that's... <laughs> well, that's a, that's a... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, there's another drop on 619 God Sword Chart 2. Uh, well, I'm honestly okay with getting this simply because I'll be able to create all my God Swords if I get enough of them. Um, but yeah, that's another drop and let's keep going. Well, here's another God Sword Chart 3 on KC 646. We'll take it. I'll kill all of them here so I get my prayer back up. Yes! We're done! Oh my god, we are done! Bandos healed! KC 656. Another God Wars boss is completed. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh my god, only Kriara left to go. Perfect, right? Let's go ahead and make it. Okay, we are done. Let's I'm so happy, dude. General Grador 657 KC, everything but pet completed. Krill, everything but pet completed in 269. Then we got the Commander Ziliana, 7 out of 8, everything but pet completed in 63. And now, lastly, we gotta finish off Kriara. We got ourselves the chest plate, the chain skirt. Uh, on 53kc, we need helm, we need hilt. Right, let's first on go ahead and make this hilt. That's gonna be useful when we return to TOB to get the chest plate and the scythe, which are the items that we still miss. And if we take a look into my loot tab over here, look how many god swords I can make. I can easily make another Bandos. And if I have another hilt, I might as well make another Sara hilt while we are at it because we clearly have enough of everything. All right, so here we go. Bandos hilt onto the blade. We wear it. Sara hilt onto the blade. We wear it. Perfect. Right, let's go ahead and do some Kriara. Hopefully get a bit spoon fed and finish off the helm and the hilt. Okay. Ooh, no! Kill count 58, duplicate armadillo, chain skirt, damn it. Right, we take it though. It will look good in the bank video, but... Oof, that could have been the helm. It is what it is, we take it. I'm so lucky so far though. 
Three items in 58 KC. Alright, a little bit of change of pace. So we have killed approximately, what, 72 Kriaras. We got three drops so far. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go to Grotesque Guardians. Because if I get a, an upgrade to my boots by getting a Black Tormelidian Core or whatever it's called, um, I can use those boots when I'm farming Kriara and get a ton of defense from it, which is pretty helpful because I don't have the recall relic. So if I can upgrade this slot and then have Justicar here and DFS here, I might be able to extend trips even longer and it would be much better than what I have right now, which is snakeskin boots or bandas boots. So we're gonna change the plan a bit and return to Godwards a bit later. So we're gonna do some grotesque guardians. Oh my god, I got it. Holy shit, we got it, boys. Black Tourmaline Core, kill count 44. That is so sick. That is so sick. That is massive. This is one in a thousand in a main game. But with that, we can now upgrade our boots. So we're basically done with this for now. And we're gonna return to Kriara. Uh, but eventually, we wanna finish 200 KC or 250 KC. But I'm so happy. I got it before 250 KC, so look at the loot on the floor, like, oh my god, I can stay here forever for an entire task if I want to. Alright, so for the comparison's sake, let's take a look at our good old Bandos boots. They give me 17 stab, 18 slash, 9 in crush defense, some range defense as well, um, 0 magic defense. They give me a little bit minus in range, a little bit minus in magic, no other bonuses but one prayer. But if we attach this black Tormillion core onto the boots, we create guardian boots and those are much, much better. That's 250 points for equipping them, but most importantly, look at the upgrade, right? Only minus one in range, so it doesn't matter if I use it at Kriara, but look at the defense bonuses we get with that. It is perfect. We also get plus three strength and plus two prayer. Not really big there, but the defense bonuses is why this is so good. So now I will have this DFS, Justicar Helm, and then full Arma when I do Armadil. And now I can return there, hopefully get a hilt, and hopefully get an Arma Helm as well. Well, I'm sad to announce that I never caught me actually getting the Heron on my alt account, because when I don't know what to do, I just come over here and fish. And I get cruise scrolls while doing so, and we got a pet at probably around 29 million fishing XP. Oh, I just got 25 million range XP. Woo! The KC is now 200, and we still need to get two drops from Arma, so it's safe to say we are not going lucky on this boss, unfortunately. But I'm gonna keep at it, and hopefully be done with it later today. <gasps> yes! Okay! Oh my god, I just got an Armadil helmet. That is so good! I am so happy. That means we only have one more item missing, until we have every single drop from Arma, and if we wear it... There it is, 500 points for wearing a full armadil. I am extremely happy right now, but unfortunate situation here is the fact that I am missing an armadil godsword, and that is the rarest item that I can get from this boss, and I do not want to go really, really dry on getting it, so hopefully we get a little bit lucky here. I'm gonna keep going until I completely finish it off, uh, but I'm very, very happy to receive this drop. Oh my god, I just got a back-to-back -back God Surcharge 2 on kill count number 222. Not that I need this, but we'll take it. <gasps> I'm done! Okay! I got it! Armadil Hilt, pick it up! We are completed with God Wars! Oh my god, I'm so happy this is done. Oh my god. You guys have no idea. How long killing each of these birds takes. I mean, every single kill can take between like 3 to 5 minutes with my gear and stuff. But, oh my god, we did it. It is done. Oh, I am so happy right now. This means I can now just equip this for extra 500 points. But I first need to figure out how to even make a god sword again. Because it's been a while. Um, but yeah, look at this. We have another set of basically a blade, right? This is a blade, I think. We have it done, so I just need a hammer, I just need a wealth to go to Grand Exchange, and... Oh my god, we did it! Without the last recall relic, uh, just with Eternal Jeweler, we managed to complete God Wars fully. I'm so proud of that, let's go ahead and make the God Sword. Here it is, for the final time, making an Armadil God Sword. Let's see, so I toss that onto this, toss that onto that, 
And I wonder if I'm gonna have to re-equip all the God Swords again, or if I can just wear this. There it is. Equip every single God Sword, 500 extra points. We're up to 57k, and now I'll be able to pretty much do all the other things that's gonna give me a lot of points. This has been kinda dragging me down a little bit, but now I'm gonna go ahead and do Nightmare, do T.O.B., finish off Sire, and with that I'll be able to complete every single drop in leagues, which is my goal for this whole series. So, yeah, there's not much more left to leagues. I pretty much accomplished more or less everything. Okay, so this is where we are ending the video and if you guys made it this far into the video and you are for some reason not yet subscribed, consider doing so and consider liking the video. This video took very very long time to make as you were able to see a lot of drops were accomplished and a lot of progress was made in this video. Now I do have a couple extra videos planned for example on the Christmas day I will upload the biggest Trailblazer clue scroll opening video on our alt account. I'm very excited to show you that uh, but on top of that I also have some unfinished business on our main account in the leagues. And I just want to say thank you so much guys for this amazing year because we almost reached 100,000 subs. We are very close. I did set that as a goal unfortunately though I don't think we're gonna quite reach it this year. But well definitely early next year I can expect to reach 100k which is absolutely mental like I never imagined that to actually be almost a reality. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you from me and I hope you all are going to have a wonderful day and uh, stay safe everybody. I'll see you again very soon with another video and more streams over on my Twitch channel. Have a good one and bye bye.